Well, for the second time in less than a week, San Antonio City Council likely to pass a vote of no confidence against one of its members. First, Councilman Mario Bravo. Now, Councilman Clayton Perry. The District 10 Councilman was formally charged yesterday with just a misdemeanor thus far in connection to a hit and run crash on Sunday, not too far from his home during a special meeting that is now scheduled for Monday afternoon. Council will now take up a vote of no confidence and call on Perry to resign. And with Perry's political future very much in doubt, one expert telling our Dylan Collier it's time for him to step down, saying the Councilman can no longer be an effective leader. Thursday was not a good day for Councilman Clayton Perry, forced to turn himself in on a misdemeanor warrant for failing to stop and provide information. Perry was barely out of custody when San Antonio police dropped two hammers on him. Do you need an ambulance? First, more than 13 minutes of body-worn camera footage showing Perry in rough shape, out of it and bleeding in his own backyard. Second, SAPD confirmed it would be filing a DWI case against him with the Bear County District Attorney's Office. A source telling KSAT today, DA Joe Gonzalez will file to recuse himself from those criminal matters against Perry as soon as early next week. Were you driving earlier? No. If you were advising him, if you were part of his office, would you advise him to resign or to try and stick it out? I'd advise him to resign. I mean, he's he's damaged goods. John Taylor is a political science professor at UTSA. Perception is everything in politics. Let's be blunt here. And this is this is a perception issue. The speed of events in this case has been incredible. Less than five days ago, Councilman Clayton Perry turned into the wrong lanes of this intersection near his home, crashing into another car head on. A councilman's worst moments caught on camera for all to see. It does not look good when it's on video. That especially makes it pretty damning. Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.